passava Okay day yesterday digging some relics, so we're going out again today. 1680s Indian village. 1650s. 1680s Indian village. Where some Jesuit rings and other trade relics have been found. Tinker cones, some musket parts. <laughs> so we're going back. Sun's out. Looks like it's going to be a great day. The field was beans. So if the beans are out and it's not all plowed up, I could see some real potential today. I mean, I'm going to say that it's almost a guarantee that somebody gets a, a Heart L or an IHS ring today. But we'll have to see. Who knows? I don't know. My luck has been in the toilet lately so we'll just have to see what happens beans is gonna make it easy to swing haven't been out here more than five minutes brian's already got something what is it a button yeah it's an old button Sweet. Well, I just got up here and I got a really good reading. Dug a hole and it still sounds really solid and good. Almost sounds like a coin, but you know, there's just been very few. Very few coins up here. So, uh, oops. Sounds like it's right down over here in this corner. Sounds good on the machine. Hope it's not a can piece. Ooh, it's deeper down. I wonder if maybe, I wonder if maybe it's deep iron giving me that positive tone. I wonder if this could be a, an ax, possibly. Ah. Ooh. I'm gonna dig this a little bit more and then I'll come back. see what it well I suppose I'll leave the I'll leave the camera on I guess whatever it is it's like right there let me I didn't feel anything I just stuck the digger in there and dug on the edge I didn't feel a single thing as far as like a big axe or something yeah it's down in there I'm gonna have to put the camera down get it out oh yeah there it is right there I bet you that's an axe I'll have to do a little bit more digging here maybe I'll wait till Brian comes up and then I'll pull it out all right Brian over to it's right there in the corner and it's way down in there pinpointer is like buried and I got I'd say this is definitely gonna be an axe You bumped into it with the shovel yet? I just bumped into it right there, I think. I hit it with the digger. 
<laughs> Sounds axy, don't it? It sure does. Where's the edge of it? Yeah, that's it right there's the edge. See it? Ooh, it looks like it's in good shape too. It doesn't look super cruddy. There's the edge right here. This is the front of it right there. I think that's the bit. Get under it. See? And then it comes up like it comes right around like this. This is the edge. And then this is the top here. Edge and the top. So the eye's back in here a little bit. But I think it's probably can't see much on that camera but I'm just They're gonna get to. my finger in behind it here it comes the earth give it birth <laughs> uh, it's a good one oh yeah it feels like it's good oh everybody ready because here she comes oh it's broken but it's still good and there's a mark right there you can see it it's that uh that starburst sunburst, yeah. the sunburst circle in a broken eye very nice too bad that wasn't hold the blade pretty decent shape is the rest of the eye in there oh cool I think it's just picking up the, the iron and the ground, probably. And... Uh, oh! It's a good point. Not really. Looks pretty good. I don't think. Yeah, it looks decent. It's pretty crude. Yeah, but it's cool looking. It's a chunky triangle. Some sort. Sweet. Well, I think. See that? I think I got a deep one here. So. Try to get down. It could be another. It could be an axe. We'll see. It's not sounding as good as the last one, but there's definitely something down there. And it's deep. And hopefully it's something good. Deep doesn't always mean good, but I hope it's something good. I mean, it's right there, right in the bottom of the hole, but it sounds like it's deeper. So, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Yeah, it's... Whatever it is, it's still down in there. I mean, I guess it... I don't know, I gotta figure it out though. I'm like down past the top soil into some... Sandy soil. Ooh, getting closer to it. So that's good. But it's getting, it's also getting harder to, harder to dig because it has the hole so deep. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's like right there, whatever it is. Oh, there. I hit something.
something. Did you hear it? Yeah, it's iron. And it is way down there, too. Wow. That's deep. That is deep. That is really, really deep. I don't know what that is, though. Almost doesn't look like an axe. It's definitely iron though. There's something down in there. I'm gonna shut the camera off and do a little bit of a little more digging here. So you can see. Right? It's right there. I don't know if you can see down there or not. Right there. That's iron. So I'm gonna call Brian over and have him record this. Way down there. And I almost feel like it's, I don't know how big it is. It's gotta be pretty big if it's 80 feet down. Well, that's what I was kind of thinking, but the thing is, I think it's long too. And it feels, I think it, feel it. I think it's a gun barrel. I think it's a gun barrel, but it's down there deep. Feel it. It's a gun. I see it. It's a gun barrel, but it's down deep. Ah, uh, hold this. And I think, like when I try to wiggle it, it don't feel like it wiggles. Do it. No, I'm, not. I'm trying to feel if it has to. Got it rough on this side, but the rest is smooth. what is it? But it's big, isn't it? In terms of length, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. At least we know which way it runs linear because then I can dig with it and get it out. I bet it's a gun barrel. I don't see a pipe being that deep. Just a regular pipe out here being that deep. I mean, you're in the middle of a bean field. I don't know about farming that much. Do they have pipes just running out in the middle of a bean field? I don't know. I wouldn't think so. Well, looks like I'm going to have to dig a trench to get this thing out. It's got to be. And uh, it's, like it's got that shape on the bottom. I know, and we'll we'll come back on in a second. Well, probably several minutes, however long. I mean, I'm gonna dig a trench linear with it, try to find an end, try to wiggle it, and slide it out. That's about the only way. So we'll check back here. Extended the hole. We seem to be getting a little bit of wiggle coming out of it. Dig right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is a gun barrel. Yes, it, is. Oh, wow. it is a gun barrel. That's the breech plug right here. Yep. It is a gun barrel. Is that a pistol type thing? Because it isn't this. It could be, unless they cut it off, you know. Yep, gun barrel. Wow. <laughs> It could be a pistol barrel. You have to look at the end and see if the end's cut off or what it looks like. It's an octagon to round though. I can see that right in here. It's an octagon, breech plug, octagon. There'd probably be your powder hole. And then, actually it might be octagon down here. They could have cut it off at the round part, you know. Maybe the round was easier to smash and work with than that octagon shape. I don't know. 
but that's a big gun barrel way deep <sighs> sweet okay the meager finds from uh, when Brian and I were out at our 1680s village site that we're hunting there's a slight historic occupation there this is like the very end of a pewter spoon I believe or some sort of pewter utensil and one flat button this would date to around probably the time that the two half dimes that were found in the spot if you saw any of the previous videos there was a I think it was a 1853 and a 1835 half dime that were found there which uh, they're a little they're newer um, it must have been a little camp or something there around that time but the stuff from the old village is here kettle scrap supposedly the village was gone by 1700 I believe so this stuff would all be pre 1700 kettle scrap I think this is a lug I was hoping it was maybe a smashed coin with a hole in it but I think that's off a kettle uh, like a wash or something off a kettle um, five tinklers some of them a little worse for wear this is pretty nice one here a couple small ones there one broken blue bead that Brian actually found and gave to me which is pretty cool so thank you Brian two pieces of uh, copper wire this one looks like it was partially melted like somebody tried to melt it or braise it I'm not sure why three musket balls one smashed a piece of galena which is occurs naturally in the state of Wisconsin in the southwestern part of the state I'm not familiar with any any place that's found in northern Wisconsin or even in the middle of the state really I know it's southwestern geographically and also northwestern Illinois but <clears throat> the uh, settlers would were mining this I believe to refine it to get the lead out of it it's got extremely high lead content you can see it's kind of shiny with some white uh, corrosion on it there real high lead content on Galena and I also heard that prehistoric times that they would grind up Galena and use it as like a, a face paint. So you could imagine it'd be probably a dull silver, maybe even a shiny silver. And then <clears throat> I found this axe, which is pretty cool. It's got a mark here. My understanding is that's a French mark. It's also marked right here on the other side. It's broken at the eye but it's got a nice blade on it and uh, I think this will clean up even better in electrolysis I also got another great big iron reading that I chased after and it ended up being this barrel this musket barrel here's the breech plug back here you can see it's octagon and there's a hole right there that just about fits uh, that musket ball. So, I mean, who knows? Small caliber, it seems, but a pretty cool find. So I'm happy, meager finds. There wasn't a whole lot found, but we've been hitting it pretty hard. And maybe after a plow, um, something else will surface. So all this stuff I'm gonna record and kind of catalog and put away uh, in the box from that site and different bags and such so yeah neat old stuff